Every day, hundreds of tons of paper are used by schools within the United Kingdom alone. Imagine if this number was zero. At Vector Education Solutions, we make this possible. Our company helps schools transition from a paper-based, note-taking method to a fully paperless ecosystem that uses Apple's iPad Pro platform. The benefits of the system have become obvious from the users within our school. Students no longer have to carry books or stationery. Everything necessary for learning is on the iPad. All student notes are also backed up in the cloud, making losing them virtually impossible. The benefits to the environment are also apparent. As a company, we've identified a plethora of benefits to both the end user, being teachers and students, and the end decision maker, being heads and governors of schools. The average student has five to six lessons per day, carrying around five to six textbooks, notebooks and folders, in addition to day-to-day -day stationery. Now imagine collapsing each of these materials into the singular 500 gram mass of the iPad, possessing every aforementioned material and then some. The opportunities for ease of school life don't end with the tangible, but extend to the intangible benefits, with collaborative opportunities at the touch of your fingertips. Cloud collaboration services such as Google Drive are now a mainstay in the student's education. Moreover, researching will now be an intrinsic property in a paperless education. With the students learning, they can now split screens, Google stats, facts and diagrams and take notes in tandem. I think that it's quite a radical departure from writing with paper and pen. I was suspicious of it at first because I'm very much a traditionalist and I think that writing things out um, is very important and I'm still unsure about whether writing on paper is qualitatively different to writing with an Apple pen. But the more that I've used the technology myself, the more convinced I've become that they're pretty equivalent. I think that they offer opportunities for me to organise the class's time better um, and for everyone to gain efficiencies. In economics there's a lot of diagram drawing and by me projecting what I'm doing on my iPad onto the screen in real time with the exact worksheet that all the students have in front of them, they can see what I want their worksheet to look like as an ideal set of notes. So there's a worksheet and I can show them exactly how to walk through the problem all at once. That means that I don't have to have a dozen conversations or three different conversations or work out who's kind of not keeping up for whatever reason every single time. Obviously there'll still be a sense of that, but it makes for a dramatic efficiency improvement to people to see on a board in real time exactly what they should be writing on the piece of paper that they've been given. Our business uses a simple distributor model to make it easier for implementation of the schemes and scores and also to maximize revenue. Our profit comes from the marginal gap in buying and selling the iPads, as well as charging a small premium for our service. Our aim is environmental sustainability and our scheme allows us to be able to reach a far larger customer base which will provide us with solid revenue over time. This diagram visualizes our envisioned subsidy scheme. Firstly, we would start with getting a budget on how many units the school desires to make available to its students and what percentage the students would pay. For example, the school may implement a 50-50 split of the £600 between school and student, thus leaving a budget allocation of £300 per student for the school. Secondly, once the above is decided, we would request the school distribute forms to parents and students by email for an opt-in solution with details of the scheme, as well as how to opt-in. Moving on, these orders would be received and processed by the school, thereby receiving the, the other sector of their payment on the school bill. Thirdly, once the shipment of iPads has been processed and delivered, we would then take over and distribute the iPads alongside the app vouchers and instructions on how to get started with using the iPad for daily school use. Our distribution of orders will be done efficiently and effectively to reduce workload on the school. Our primary consumer target base are schools. We will market our services to schools on an individual case-by-case -case basis, describing how our services benefit them, how much money they can potentially save from our service, and individual feasibility and implementation options, such as training schemes, school subsidy sizes, and product repair, in order to tailor, pro tailor a program that fits the need of the school. Our immediate focus will be private schools who can directly see the benefit of what we have done in our school. And then there is scope to expo expand beyond 
beyond into other schools and even businesses. Our services are better than what schools can currently do because what we do is do more than simply buy iPads. Our business is about progress in all areas. So we are the only company to provide training, installation of apps, air print printers, repair schemes and constant support to our customers. We do this because of our core company values of strong consumer relationships and environmental sustainability that drive us to be successful. As of right now, we are working with our school to try to implement our idea. However, such a big and revolutionary change to any system takes time. Nevertheless, we have spoken to members of staff responsible for these kind of changes, and we are trying to push our idea as much as we can. The main challenge that we are working to overcome is convincing teachers that iPads and digital technology in general is not only faster and more efficient, but also easy to adapt to. We have trials already running with roughly 30 to 40 students in the sixth form and a few teachers already using iPads, which showcase us to the unexpected advantages of the system. The feedback has been amazing, with both students and teachers expressing how much the iPads have helped them in almost everything that they do at school. Many experts see one-to-one -one iPads coming into classrooms within the next three to four years, but with our help, we can shorten this time considerably and ensure that the school stays ahead of the curve. Why choose us? Unlike many other education companies, we are students, so we know what we need in order to improve and are aware of new technologies that could benefit us. At Vector Education Solutions, our vision is to be leaders and innovators within the field of education, bringing about meaningful change through the use of the newest technologies. 